Hi, it's Derek. Can you let me in? Yes. So, it's first week of rehearsals. Oh, they got dark. What do we do this week? Are you serious? Do it now. Yeah, right. Matt Brind, yes. musical director. Yes. How's it going? It's first day of rehearsals. It's very good. How's it's, it going so far? It was good, yeah. It was really good. They make a great sound and this building is, is amazing. It's huge, these huge roofs, as you can see. So the sound in here is fantastic. It's just a bit like a big animal at the moment. Trying to control it is tough, but it's good. Rocks. So what's the plan for the week? Try and learn the whole score in one week. How big's the score? It's, it's big. In the first week they learn a lot of the music and everybody else waits and watches. <laughs> What's it going to be? <coughs> well, the thing is, I'm I'm a dancer, so I yeah. I don't eat sweets. I only <coughs> drink tea and and um, yeah. and lots of tissue and, tissue and, sometimes. Um, yeah. um, so I'm just going to have smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I'm just going to have just a <laughs> But I, yeah, I don't eat. I'm a dancer. <laughs> Hi. I'm Peter Michael Marino, and I wrote and conceived Desperately Seeking Susan. Oh, she had the drugs. <laughs> she never spoke to you, I don't know why. She's probably the strangest person in the world. Well, I wanted to do something with Blondie's music, and after uh, viewing and thinking about some films from the 80s, I came across Such Really Seeking Susan, and the parallels just seemed to be perfect for this. So I did some work and changed the setting back to 79 and seemed to support the music a little bit more and the parallels just kept coming and coming and coming and I couldn't stop myself. Second script. I think what's special about this show is that the characters in it have a very strong need and a very strong want to change their lives in some way and they go through pretty radical extremes to make those changes happen. And sometimes they happen magically, and I think that the theater is a great vehicle for magical things to happen. Oh, you're not really recording now? I am now, yeah. Yeah, I just want to apologize for this day. <laughs> if I'd have known. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, Kevin Price? Yes. Uh, I look in the lens or at you? one-way mashup. I'm not actually sure what that means. It's quite new to me. It's a new bit I think that they put in when uh, in one of the workshops that I didn't do. So, um, so we'll see. Let's find out. So Emma, who do you play in Desperately Seeking Susan? I'm playing the very sort of Susan. And are you having to start again from scratch, learning songs? Completely. And everyone likes Blondie, right? Everyone seems to love Blondie. Blondie? Blondie. Blondie? No, it's a Madonna musical, isn't it? Like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yes! You cannot go a day without hearing Blondie somewhere, unless you don't get it then, you're perfectly virgin.